the Galactic Free Press Update. Incoming events and we will be impacted. Bringing humanity home. Energy and event update. Greetings love beings. We arrived in March with a bang. Welcome to the mag magical month of March and indeed for those who are awake and aware this will be a month of increased joy, increased connections, and more events which will be more victories for the light on planet Earth, Equal Heart. For those in the oneness energies, people, places, and events will be magically unfolding. We have our very first powerful day coming up for the equinox, and if you are participating in the oneness energies, your experiences will become increasingly grander. Our incoming recently discovered comments are also arriving with an energetic surprise. For those who are ready, we welcome you home into the light where love is all there is. Quoted from Sheldon Nidal A great celestial event is shortly to occur in your heavens. This event is the last one in a series of phenomenon which signals the end of a sacred agreement between the light and the Anunnaki long ago. It is part of a divine plan to prepare your ancestors as well as you for a return to full consciousness. Those who understand the ways of heaven know that the time has come for a grand exit of the dark and its multitudes of minions. They have run this limited consciousness realm for nearly 13,000 years and during this time Many golden ages and many strange edicts by the dark have marked this span of years. The upcoming moments signal the end of this period. You are rising in frequency, which means that the agency for controlling you is ending. The resulting freedom enables you to receive your spiritual and space families with a feeling of joy knowing that the long night of sorrows is at an end. Everywhere, small glimpses of this freedom are becoming evident. Your hearts now accept the essentiality of freedom, thus enabling a new reality to be born. It is in the midst of this new reality that amazing changes are forming. Governments are to fall, and a new prosperity is to come into being. This is the time of prophecy in which heaven reigns supreme. The light comes and a new way is born. Divine grace has formed us and bestowed the divine plan to our souls. End of quote. And quoted from Jennifer Hoffman. Any month that starts out with the Catholic Pope's retirement hospitalization of the Queen of England and the US government in sequester promises to be interesting. This is what has happened in just the first three days of March and it's going to be a long month. March will definitely be a mixed bag of madness and mayhem with a lot of truth, insights and validation. We also have the year's most powerful date in March the 22nd which heralds the end of 3D, as in the energy supporting 3D, will be over. For a month now, I have been writing that the March 22nd equinox is the end of 3D, which means that it's the end of 3D polarity and separation. We will still be in the third dimension, but with easier access to multiple dimensions and portals. The veils are gone. Now we can see and be it all with no restrictions other than those we impose on ourselves. 2013 was the year of divine, is the year of divine power and truth. The door to truth will begin to open this month, and it is probably not going to be very pretty. Many people will be angry, scared, confused, and bewildered when they learn of how shaky the foundations on which they have based their own truths are. 3D will not unfold quietly, 
like a lotus flower closing. It is collapsing on itself under the weight of the greed, the power, domination, and control that has sustained it for eons. There is no more energy to empower this paradigm, so it's going away. As it falls, we must be ready with our new paradigms of self-empowerment, intentions for a world built on a foundation of connection and thus equality, love, peace, and joy, and our own alignment with this as our personal paradigm. This is a great month to start that because the 3D paradigm collapse is gaining momentum every single day. Please don't go into fear as everything is always in divine order. March is the month to integrate with our divine power, but we have to tread very carefully here. The old models of power were, were built on the principles of power over or taking power from, from someone else or something. The 3D power paradigm is a power vampire that feeds off the other's power. Divine power is an ascended concept that arises from within and is empowered through our source connection and is the expression of our God light. It cannot exist without our source connection and is expanded within a balance of giving and receiving. We can't take it away from someone else or have it taken away from us. Divine power doesn't take care of us. It sustains us. It doesn't feed us in exchange for the promise of our power. It nourishes us when we feed ourselves through our own self-empowerment. It will bless us with unconditional love, but it won't stop us from hurting ourselves if that is what we choose to do. Divine power isn't going to rush in and take care of the bad guys, but it will support our intention for joy, abundance, love, and a peaceful planet all of which will further assist in the collapse of the 3D paradigm. In March, we will get a big dose of truth, which may be bitter medicine at times, both personally and globally. And we will have opportunities to try out our divine power. As the 3D paradigm collapses, it is our collective intention for what we want to see and be on this planet that will assist in a more orderly transition from the old world to the new. The equinox on March 22nd is one of the most powerful days of the year and officially marks the end of 3D, which may or may not happen with a big bang. Just pay attention to what goes on around you and respond rather than react. Be detached and remember that the most important things in your life, your source of power, can never be taken away from you. Be loving towards yourselves. End of quote. Quoted from Jalila Starr. The worst earth changes we will or could incur would be between now and then we will have earthquakes, volcanoes, and massive storms. In other words, it's going to be a bumpy ride for the next 18 months, but we are going to come through it with our planet intact. Of course, we still have a way to reduce these earth changes, and that is through continuing our emotional clearing. Remember, humanity's collective emotional fields impacts the Earth's field. So, the more we release our emotional baggage, the less Mother Earth will have to do this for us. As always, the power, power to further minimize Earth changes is in our hands. End of quote. We would like to share a recent sharing from David Icke about his experience of breaking out of the illusion. What he shares below is what many are experiencing right now. And this is an excellent sign in movement for the light. Now, 
we move into unity consciousness and into the unified field. Quoted from David Icke. It was at this point that I accepted an invitation to appear on a primetime chat show watched by a considerable percentage of the British public. Even more so given the revelations about my insanity that people were reading in the papers. I was said to be having a breakdown by the reams of column inches, but in truth, I was having a breakthrough. The waters breaking in my sense of reality were freeing me from the prison perceptions of this world of illusion, and suddenly I could see what m most others could not. When that happens, there can be no other scenario than to be ridiculed and condemned and branded as insane when the word they are looking for is different. This has happened to so many others before me, and although rarely I suspect on the same at one time, incessant and merciless scale. When I say that I began to see what most others could not, this is not meant to be a boast or a claim to some sort of specialness. My point has always been that we are all the, the same eternal awareness and that we are therefore all expressions of the same specialness. The breaking waters are open to anyone. It is only a choice to cast off the program perceptions of a lifetime in this world of illusion and delusion where the prevailing reality is courtesy of Looney Tunes. Some, so many people world, worldwide are going through the breakthrough process today, and I want to give them encouragement and reassurance from my own extreme experience. You're not going crazy. You're actually going sane. Worth it? Every second. End of quote. All appears kind of quiet at the moment. However, we have some intense energy building as we head towards the new moon in watery Pisces. We can anticipate a lot of water events to assist in the constant cleansing we have been in since 2012, which means we'll be kicking it up this month quite intensely. Quoted from Timothy Glenn, The stage is now set for a powerful new moon in the watery dreamland of Pisces. If we can navigate our way past the illusion, delusion, and confusion often associated with this sign, we can set sail on the cosmic sea, dreams, mysticism, spirituality, creativity, empathy, and all those other Piscean qualities we long to develop more fully." End of quote. Unity Consciousness, which represents the unified field, will be all which exists through this transition. Unity Consciousness was successfully birthed on December 21st, 2012. These incoming energies will, ever, will be ever present and increasing. We highly recommend connecting into unity if you have not done so already, as these energies will be the ones to support you through all the changes. Quoted from James Gilliland. We are moving into times of great changes on every level. We have to start thinking in terms of us, we, and be of service. The old me material minded program will no long, longer provide any security. In fact, it will become your greatest insecurity in the future. The old separation game, the Archon Minion Network, is coming to an end. It is out of alignment with the Earth's evolution and is no longer in frequency specific. We have to align with the new paradigm. Unity consciousness and think of how each act, each choice will affect others what the inspiration is behind that choice, or from what level of consciousness we are making this choice. 
making choices from a program, that is not who you really are, or out of alignment with the higher self, will result in the same ending of the Archon Network. It is time to go forward. It is time to create a new planet, one of love, joy, bliss, and unity consciousness. It is the only true security we have. Be well. End of quote. And quoted from Jill Feeler. Change is underway, and it can feel a bit like we are in a blender of chaotic, unsettled frequencies at times. The energies are so intense that we can feel like we're sailing at one moment and then sort of compacted or even whacked moments later. Ah, oh, please be gentle and patient and nurturing of yourself and others. As we have now begun, the very important process of integrating many of the higher frequencies accessed since October of 2012 and continuing. End of quote. Each moment now, the light energetically is reaching the masses more and more. And with this, the consciousness levels rise. We will share again, those who are clinging to any aspect of the old paradigm now, it will become increasingly, increasingly more difficult as the intensity of the light increases and the lower vibrations must be transformed or leave the planet. Quoted from Sandra Walters, external events show what the energy is working on. From the watcher state, I see the self-judgment boomerang hitting some folks pretty hard. All the things that are not us, emotions, ego, the program mind, belief systems, all these things, they're getting the boot. Please remember that when you see external evidence of the old paradigm collapsing, especially in leadership and government, that same frequency is also affecting you on a personal level. Religious leadership getting the shakedown equal challenges to your belief systems. Government equal controlling behavior. Financial changes equal manipulation, greed, and material things. All of these have to do with the photonic frequencies demanding harmony. So take a look at what is being eliminated from the reality menu. More encouragement from Yeshua. <clears throat> a while ago, I read the Magdalene Manuscript, Tom Kenyon's co-authored book about the journey of Mary Magdalene. A question still lingered in my heart about what occurred in the garden at Gethsemane. In the manuscript, Magdalene mentions that something happened to Yeshua between that night and the next time she saw him after he was arrested. In the garden, he was haunted by doubts that he could, not that, that he could accomplish what he intended, a full embodiment of what was to occur 2,000 years later. Esain masters attempted transcension on their own behalf. Yeshua, Yeshua was doing it to reveal a future truth for all of humanity so we could access it down the line. When Magdalene saw him the next day, Yeshua was unwavering. The doubt was gone, and she wondered what had occurred. Because Yeshua has been a consistent part of my path, I kept asking what happened to him in the garden that night. What did he see or do that eliminated this doubt? Did someone visit him? Was there a magical method to remove doubts of my own capabilities? Two weeks ago, after a powerful experience on the mountain, I asked him again. Share this with me, dear brother Yeshua. What happened in the garden to wash away the last shreds of doubt? What was it? What did you see? After a moment, his energy stepped in and a vision began. It was Gaia ascending. 
She was shining, glowing, and radiant. Then the crystalline grid of human hearts emerged all around her. A grid of shining humans beaming the love light of the solar Christ consciousness out into the galaxy. Yeshua then spoke. This is what was revealed to me in the garden, the fruits of my labor. I saw the future, and I saw you. Of course, he meant all of us, the divine human collective. I share this vision of the miraculous and the unwavering creation of our ascension. End of quote. With this, the oneness energies are really going to kick up this month. And for those who are hanging on to any aspects of the old paradigm, this might be yanked from you quickly. As all must move into position who are contracted for this aspect and role for the next facet of the divine plan. Although, as you can see, we do have a moment to go for the entire planet awakened, which is the mission at hand. We can say that we are definitely well on our way and March will display some of this for us. We have much to look forward to and we will be impacted. Decreed by heaven, energetic movement will be incurring intensely this month. Activations for the next part of the divine plan unfolding. This will be a process continually unfolding now. This is a divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth Equal Heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission and all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, Humanity's Earth Allies, the Company of Heaven, and the First Contact Ground Crew Team. <laughs>